Hi everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to continue opening the ETB booster packs. We did open four in the last video and had a look at the rest of the items included. And today we are going to open the final four boosters that are included. As you can see it is the Astral Radiant set. It does come with ten cards included. And these are the four booster packs that we have. So we didn't have too much luck last time. Um, we were getting like reverse hollows, but we didn't get any hollows or anything special at the back of the packs. So we are gonna see if we can get anything in today's packs. So we're gonna take our four from the back and the energy is fighting. So hopefully our luck has carried through to the back four packs. Again, some really, really stunning art. I am super excited to see the um, cards from this set. I always love it when they are newer sets because um, they really do take time with their art, even on some of the common and uncommon cards. Again, I do really like that we are getting the little villages in the background with some kind of people interacting and things like that with little campfires and camps and these kind of camps you can find in the game as well. Some stunning different art styles. Very, very cool. Very stunning. And we do have a Starmy V. So it looks like we do have a alternate art card here. We can see we have um, what seems to be Misty um, from a very, very long time ago. She's in like a little Pokemon ball rubber ring with Starmy in the water. It's got a lovely, lovely shine to it. And you can see they're all having some food together. Really, really cool card. And we do have a Toka Kiss as well and a hollow so it looks like we are getting hollows in this set which is really cool um like i said the first four boosters we weren't having the best luck so we're just going to sleeve our cards very very stunning card super happy with that uh, i'm also going to place that in a top loader just because it's quite a unique card very very cool super happy with that one so hopefully our luck has carried through to these next four and we're able to get some more really good pulls like that just to add to our collection looks like we are getting um some of the rare code cards so hopefully again something good the energy is fire this time Very cool action artwork there for Noctowl. So we do have some duplicates. We've had the Heracross before, but it's still very, very stunning. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below whether you um, are collecting this set. We have a very cute Poochiana. If you're collecting this set, we do have our Reverse Hollow. Again, very shiny, very nice. And it looks like we have a full art. And we do have the Summer V in its region form. Very beautiful colours. Very cool. So again, just leave anything that is shiny. So yeah, let me know in the comments below whether you are collecting this set or whether it doesn't take you fancy. I know some people pick and choose what kind of sets they um, like to collect. To be honest, personally, I just kind of pick up what I can get my hands on. Um, I do live in like a kind of small town and um, it's kind of hard to get some Pokemon cards sometimes. So I just kind of get what I can get my hands on. I don't really mind too much what it is. Because I do really love opening them up. I've loved Pokemon from a very, very young age. So I get super excited when I do see it. And just kind of spend me money. But I do really enjoy sharing them with you guys. Some really, really stunning artwork there. Again, it looks like it's been coloured in with like really nice pencils. It's just stunning. We do have our confused little Psyduck. We do have our reverse hollow. 
and our rear is a non-hollow rapidash. So it looks like we're not having the best luck with this set out of all of the others. I have heard people saying that it's quite a harsh set for pull rates compared to some of the others as well. Um, but obviously I don't believe that until you see it. And we are on our last pack. We do have the white rim code card. So I don't think we're going to have anything too special in this one. The energy is steel. Some really, really cool. We have our Teddy Ursa. As you can see, we've seen a few of these before. The card feels quite thick. Um, but yeah, we've seen a few of these before now. It's always the way when you do collect. I wasn't expecting anything in this set, but we did actually get the um, Kingdra. And I believe this again is an alternate art. I was not expecting that with the code card that we got. Very, very stunning card. You can see just how shiny the background is. Absolutely stunning card. And our rear for the set is a Leafeon, non-hollow. So very, very, very cool card. Super happy with that. So we're just going to sleeve that as well. And we will put that in a top loader too. And then I will give you guys a recap of what we did pull. So in these four boosters from the ETB, we did get some of our reverse hollows. We got some full art as well and our holographics. And then we did manage to pull the Kingdra. You can see down here. Um, it is like a trainer card, 3 of 30. Very, very stunning card. Really, really happy with that. And we did also get the Starmie V. Again, with Misty. Very, very cool and extremely happy with these two. They look absolutely stunning. And I love that they do have trainers on there as well. Very, very cool. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this ETB was worth it? Do you think they're not? And also let me know if you do collect the cards as well. I'm very interested to know. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. So see you all again soon. Bye.